having a one-year-old at home definitely has changed the way I've, I've looked at pediatric medicine and, and meeting milestones and what are they supposed to be doing now and is this normal and they ate this and not this and so it's, it's been good. That's been, been helpful. Having first world experience <laughs> is good in medicine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Chandra Marshall. I'm one of the physicians at Lone Tree Family Practice. I like the variety. Family medicine, no two days are ever the same. And you know, it's a good mix of, of medicine and procedures and women's health, men's health, babies. It's, it's a nice variety. I am a certified bio -T provider in the office. And so I think Lone Tree Family Practice has a, a pretty significant patient population that does hormone replacement therapy. And so, um, you know, I do the bio -T pellets as well as creams and, and gels and injections, you know, for men and women who are looking for hormone replacement therapy. When I was about five, I think, my uncle was in a car accident that left him a quadriplegic. He was 19 at the time. And he spent a long time at Swedish and at Craig Hospital recovering. And, and so my mom and I, being the closest, were up at the hospitals a lot during his recovery. And um, so I spent, spent a lot of time there, you know, kind of just seeing how the nurses and the physical therapists and everyone worked with him and that I think played a role in me choosing medicine just because I always thought it was great how much they could help somebody and get them you know back to living life. I think all of these these challenges that you know myself and my family was faced with kind of just helped shape me into the person and, and physician that I am today. I am a stickler for time, so I try very, very hard to be on time because um, I think that's important. You know, you, you may, took time out of your day to come see me, and so I, the least I can do to, to be on time for you and, and make sure we have as much time together as possible. I'm generally a straight shooter. You, I don't sugarcoat things very much. I feel like a lot of times patients, you know, know what they need to do. They, they don't need somebody to tell them. So really my, my job is to, to ask the questions and, and kind of figure out what you think is wrong to you because I think that's just as important. The direction medicine is going, um, you know, in training nowadays, they're really focusing on, on shared decision making. So it's, it really needs to be a conversation between you and your provider. It's not the old school way of, well, I'm the doctor and so you have to listen to what I say. It's really more of, well, here's your options. What would you like to do? And, and being as supportive of that as I can.